Naruto, 10 Ninja Who Should Have Trained Harder With hard work, Naruto was able to achieve his dream of becoming Hokage. Which ninja should have followed his example? In the shinobi world of Naruto, strength and special abilities will only get a ninja so far. It's been proven in battle after battle that there are other factors besides pure muscle that can change the trajectory of who will come out victorious. Ninja like Rock Lee and Naruto Uzumaki have illustrated that heart and determination are sometimes stronger than some of the most feared Kekiai Genkai. The best shinobi aren't the best because of inherited abilities but because of their constant training. Strength, will, and intellect is a recipe for success. Those who feel complacent with obtaining only one of those three will set themselves up for failure. 10. Choji's distractions kept him from making better use of his techniques. Choji has an ability that allows him to turn his calories into chakra. Over time, he has mastered the multi-size technique, super multi-size technique, and butterfly mode. Most of these techniques can only be achieved when Choji consumes one of his three food pills. Even with strength and size, Choji still took a long time to develop his techniques and was more concerned with food than training. Much like his battle in the Chunin exams, Choji could easily be defeated if he isn't concentrating. Choji has shown a lot of potential and has come through for his teammates in battle. However, he could have been a much better asset if he put more effort into his training. 9. Irika let his desire for teaching overshadow his physical abilities. Irika has deemed himself Naruto's protector since the beginning of the series. However, it's more on an emotional level than a physical one. During their first experience on the battlefield, Irika almost sacrificed his life in order to save Naruto by making himself a human shield. In the end, Naruto defeated their opponent on his own. Though he shows Naruto the love and affection he's missing, Iruka's fighting skills are rarely shown. With more training, he'd be able to offer Naruto support inside and outside of battle. 8. Anko was able to learn many strong techniques, but her inability to control her curse mark weakened her. Anko Mitarashi showed an impressive amount of skill as a young Kunoichi and caught the attention of Orochimaru. While with Orochimaru, she was given a curse mark and learned several deadly techniques with the manipulation of snakes. As the first survivor of one of Orochimaru's deadly curse seals. The curse seal of heaven, a lot, was expected of Anko. Still, she wasn't able to control her curse seal. Furthermore, she wasn't present during the fourth great ninja war because she was captured by Kabuto. It seemed as though Anko had a lot of potential for physical prowess, but her inability to master her techniques left her in the shadows of everyone else. 7. Yamato didn't do as well as he could have as the new leader of Team 7. Yamato was tasked with standing in as the leader of Team 7 for multiple missions. He was also responsible for keeping Naruto's seal under control. Ensuring the Ninetales chakra wasn't released. Yamato has the wood release Kekiai Genkai and uses it quite well. While he's been able to back up Sakura and Naruto, he hasn't displayed any impressive uses of his abilities. He was easily tricked by Kabuto at the beginning of the fight on the bridge against Orochimaru, and he was captured by Abito before the beginning of the fourth great ninja. As a shinobi with Hashirama Senju's DNA, he should be capable of more than he's shown. 6. Karen has many valuable skills but her inability to fight leaves her vulnerable. Karen is an irreplaceable asset and her chakra abilities are extremely valuable. Karen is able to manipulate the adamantine sealing chains and use her chakra as a life force to heal others. Moreover, she also has the mind's eye of Kagura that allows her to sense people through their chakra, determine the number of enemies present from a great distance, sense emotions, and release herself or others from Genjutsu. That being said, Karen isn't much of a fighter and would have benefited from more physical training. 
5. Shino is a strong shinobi who may have abilities he has yet to explore. Shino Aburame is not only skilled at taijutsu and ninjutsu but also highly intelligent. His calm nature allows him to analyze situations very quickly and create successful strategies. Shino has made appearances as a liberator in several battles. He stopped Kankuro from pursuing Sasuke and confronted Conan along with his father Muta. He's able to use insects to track his opponents, create defenses, and gather information. It was revealed that one of Danzo's henchmen Torian Aburaim hailed from Shino's clan and was also skilled with using insects. Torian was able to use his insects in a miraculous way that formed poison clouds that were fatal to his targets. As useful as Shino's tactics have proven to be, Torian showed that there is room for much more advancement with Shino's abilities. 4. Shikamaru's laziness got in the way of him strengthening his shadow techniques. Shikamaru openly expresses his desire to constantly laze around the village. During his battle against Tamari during the Chunin exam, he looked up at the floating clouds above him, envious of their freedom. Shikamaru is naturally brilliant and an incredible strategist. In addition to his intellect, Shikamaru has the ability to manipulate his shadow. However, Shikamaru isn't able to maintain his shadow possession technique for long, which has put him in dangerous situations. Extensive training could increase Shikamaru's stamina along with his odds of success. 3. Being Tsunade's student should have made Shizun a stronger fighter. Shizun not only studied under Tsunade Senju but also became her assistant when Tsunade became the fifth Hokage of Kanahagakure. She became a talented medical ninja with excellent sealing capabilities and great fighting skills. However, with one of the legendary San Nin as a mentor, it is surprising that Shizun is often subdued in battle. She was quickly beaten by Kabuto and was one of the first ninja to be killed during Pain's attack. With more training, she could accomplish attacks that hold as much strength as her mentor or Sakura Haruno, who also studied under Tsunade. 2. If Ino mastered her techniques earlier she would have been able to match the strength of her father. It is apparent that Ino isn't as skilled at her mind techniques as the rest of her clan. Once the abilities of her father, Inoichi Yamanaka, were shown, it was obvious that Ino had a lot more training to do. When using her mind transfer technique, Ino's body is left vulnerable and her teammates have to secure her body to ensure it isn't attacked while it's left limp. Her father was able to control several opponents at one time while still being in full control of his body. He's also able to communicate telepathically with a plethora of people located far apart from one another. Ino's father set the bar for their clan's jutsu capabilities and illustrated that Ino could achieve these feats with training. 1. Hinata had the potential to be stronger than she was. Hinata is arguably the weakest member of the Hyuga clan. She possesses a strong dojitsu, the Byakugan, and was defeated in most of her battles. During her training in her youth, it was apparent that she was not only weaker than her cousin Niji Hyuga, but she was also weaker than her younger sister Hanabi Hyuga. Though, she did train. Her physical abilities didn't hold up in her matches against her cousin and pain. With a Kekiai Genkai that grants its user nearly 360 degree field of vision and the gentle fist technique enhanced by the ability to see chakra points in the opponent. Hinata would be a much stronger Kunoichi with the dedicated training habits of her peers.